My name is Matt Bothwell. I'm an astronomer at the Institute of Astronomy in Cambridge and my research involves trying to understand some of the most massive and extreme galaxies in the early universe. And the ones that I'm really interested in are actually impossible to see with the naked eye. Um, they are so massive and so dusty and so star-forming that no visible light leaks out. They are entirely encased in shrouds of dust. And so we had no idea that these things existed until the 1990s where we built a new technology, new sensors that were able to spot the very, very long wavelength light that these galaxies were putting out. It's almost like a magic trick. You just put this new sensor on the sky and take an image of the universe in an entirely new wavelength and you just see brand new invisible galaxies that you'd never seen before. I think if you're a biologist and you put on a pair of new uh, long wavelength glasses and you saw some invisible species that you'd never seen before, that would be the discovery of a lifetime. That's basically what happened to astronomers in the 1990s. And so I'm, I'm really fascinated by these galaxies uh, because they are the most extreme, the most star-forming galaxies uh, in the entire universe. They only lived in the very, very distant past. Uh, so we have to look back over more than 10 billion years of cosmic time to find these things. And we still don't fully understand them. They are a real, really nice example of scientific mystery. They live right on that border where mystery is starting to coalesce into some kind of knowledge, uh, which I think makes them really, really fascinating. Most stars and most stuff in the universe is bound up in galaxies in some way or another. So asking why galaxies look the way they do is basically asking why does the universe look the way it does, which is a very profound question. These massive galaxies in the early universe are one of the keys to understanding how galaxies grow and form and evolve over cosmic time. Um, they are really mysterious and they are, there are things about them that we don't fully understand. They are very massive and they have an enormous amount of dust even at the very earliest times. We can look back more than 12 billion years into the past and see galaxies in the dawn of the universe. And they already have quite a lot of stars and quite a lot of dust. And so that really puts pretty firm constraints on how quickly the galaxy formation process ramps up after the Big Bang. So they are a really important keystone in our knowledge for understanding why the modern universe looks the way it does. So much about these galaxies is completely fascinating. Um, we're still struggling to understand how they can make stars that fast. These things are absolute factories for stars that can churn out thousands of stars every year, which puts every galaxy in the nearby universe to shame. So understanding the mechanism that ha for how you make stars that fast is a bit mysterious. So we also really want to know what finally kills these galaxies. Uh, when we see these galaxies in the early universe, they're really in their heyday, they're in their prime of life, they're throwing out thousands of stars every year. But eventually, over billions of years of cosmic time, these galaxies grow and evolve and they turn into red, dead galaxies which litter the universe around us. And so we want to understand what finally kills them, what shuts off their star formation and turns them into these enormous colossal wrecks that we see in the modern universe. And we suspect it's their black hole in the centre, but we don't actually know the process uh, for how the black hole kills the galaxy. So that's something we also want to find out. So these invisible galaxies are so fascinating and they're just one of the things that I talk about in my new book, The Invisible Universe, why there's more to reality than meets the eye.